Have you ever wanted one of those really nice stained concrete pieces, but didn't want to shell out the money to get one? Well, today, let me show you how to do that yourself. I'm Meredith Giles with Backyard Basics. Now, I got a couple of disclaimers we want to throw out here first. We're not actually going to perform these techniques in here. We're using some fairly caustic chemicals, so we don't want to have them here in the studio. Also, this technique works much better on like newer concrete pieces. If you have a really old piece, they tend to kind of get naturally sealed just by weather and time, so they may not absorb the color as much as you might like. And as with any time you're coloring something, you may want to test a, an area before you go full blown and do the whole thing. So what we have here today are four statues that were all the same a couple of days ago. This is your basic concrete Buddha statue. Now our first step, we're gonna take and clean the statue really good, make sure it doesn't have any dirt or any stickers or anything of that nature on it. We wanna get it down to a nice clean state, maybe even wash it with some water if you need to. Now our next step is really quite simple. Uh, you may wanna put on some nice gloves just to make sure you're protecting your skin and things like that. But what we're gonna do is simply take some liquid iron from the garden. We're gonna put this straight into a spray bottle and we're just gonna spray the entire piece. Now liquid iron, as you can see, is quite a good stain. So you wanna make sure you put something down, maybe try not to work on your driveway or your deck or anything of that nature, uh, cause you don't wanna stain that. So make sure you've got a good work area before you start. Now a piece like this, I let it dry for about 10 minutes in the sun, it was ready to go. Um, if I wanted it darker, I could have actually put another layer on there and that will actually bring out more of those reds and that kind of natural rust color. The liquid iron is literally getting into the concrete and rusting. Now for our next step, we're gonna need to move fairly quickly. You don't have to be in a rush, but don't stop and go check the sports scores. Keep moving. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna get some wood stain. I chose a color called Espresso because it was nice and dark, but there's so many different colors out there. We're gonna take a simple little paintbrush. We'll be dipping it in our wood stain, and then we're gonna simply apply it evenly across the entire piece, all the way down in all the nooks and crannies and all around. Now when you first do this, you may be a little surprised. It's gonna be very, very dark. But then comes our next step. We're gonna take something like mineral spirits, and we're actually gonna apply that to a rag or to a sponge. Then we're gonna come back and start wiping that stain off. And you'll see very quickly that in the smooth areas, the stain comes off fairly well. It stays a little darker, but it comes off pretty good. But down in all of our little nooks and crannies, the stain will stay and it will give it that aged, weathered look. You know, over time in nature, dirt and things like that would settle in these little crevices and that's what gives it that aged look. Now, if you're concerned that it's still a little too dark in the crevices, you might take something like a stiff bristle brush and just kind of work down in those areas and try to get a little more of that stain out. It is easier to maybe come back and make it darker, but once it's darker than you want, it's hard to get it lighter again. Now, once you have come to that step, you could leave it just like that. But if you want to seal it naturally and keep that look a little longer, you could use a product like beeswax. Beeswax is a great natural sealant, and that's what I've done with this one here. It does make it a little bit darker, but we've actually got that beeswax down in the pores of the concrete, and so that's gonna help keep the color in there longer and keep it looking this way. Now, as a testament to how this technique works, I have my frog here. This is the first piece that I ever did in this way, and I did it 15 years ago, and it's been sitting out in the Texas weather since then, and this is what it looks like. So this is Meredith Giles showing you how to stain your own concrete in a simple and easy way. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.